Welcome back guys to another video. So this week's portfolio review, I did deposit some money to my overall Thinkorswim account, so it's looking pretty decent. But of course, I mean, it's the usual this week, just to selling cash secure puts. I did actually exit out a workhorse, all of my shares, simply because if you check out the one week chart, it's just a slow and consistent drop. I'm still really bullish on workhorse. I still think it's a good company, but right now it might dip further. So I'm holding all my cash. I may actually jump in later on. If you check out SPY right now, it's also doing pretty bad. It's down 1%. QQ, which tracks NASDAQ, it's down almost 3%. And IWM today is the only guy that's actually going up. This is a small cap. And I was trading TNA all day long today. I actually sold three TNA cash secure puts on the very bottom today at around market open at negative 5.38%. Once again, if you guys wanna check out my trades live time, just simply go in the link description below, click on the Patreon link, support the channel and the Discord. And there's all sorts of other tiers and chat rooms. And you can clearly see it's doing pretty well. Things are looking pretty good. I currently have about, about $9,400 just waiting to sell more cash secure puts. Meaning on Monday, if it's slightly red, I could sell three more cash secure puts tna price right now is at 32 dollars and 47 cents which is good there's a really good buffer zone right now you can clearly see have 12 cash secure puts for the 28.5 dollar strike and three cash secure puts for the 29.5 dollar strike all of these cash secure puts expire next week on october 9th and there is this really good buffer zone i mean tna has to drop about four whole dollars for it to actually hit this, which is about a 12 to 14% drop for TNA, which is absolutely insane. So currently deposit about $5,500. This week I roughly made maybe 700 to 800 bucks. Not a lot because Workhorse did drop kind of fiercely and thank goodness I got out of Workhorse and DPHC as soon as I can. I will try to re-enter as soon as I can, but currently though with the markets being iffy, with Trump getting the overall illness and the pandemic going around like crazy, I may rather just invest as passively as possible. So if you check out the overall options chain for TNA, so I'm not gonna really be doing anything crazy. You know me, several weeks ago, I usually sell TNA cash secure puts like super close, like this. Now I'm only requiring myself to do make just two to 3%, nothing too crazy. So if I'm selling cash secure puts for next week, I most likely will pick the $30 strike price and I will be selling three of those and just make $237. It's not a lot, but still making about 2.2, 2.5% is good enough, especially when the markets lately in the past week looks like this, and the one month looks like this. With the markets being this nasty, with the election coming up, with volatility surging through the roof, check out stock futures right now. It looks absolutely disgusting. The VIX is up almost 4%. Things aren't looking good, and I'm preferring small cap than QQQ is because a small cap is actually one of the few indexes out there that hasn't even hit all time highs. Check out the five year chart, the one year chart. Before the giant drop, it was almost at $170. Now it's only $152. So even when other indexes are dropping, small cap goes up because it's just too undervalued. I mean, it hasn't even hit all time highs. But if you check out QQQ's five year chart, you clearly see it was at around $236 before the giant pandemic drop in February, and now it's $274. It hit $300 at one point, which is absolutely mind boggling. And this is why I'm sticking with TNA. Some of you guys may say TNA is a little bit too volatile. TNA is a little bit too much, but I feel like it's perfect. That's about it. Thanks for watching and comment below. How do you guys feel about the trading? And definitely check out the Patreon link. You won't regret it.